Hi everybody and welcome to X Hit with me, Rebecca Louise. Now today we're going to be doing a military inspired workout. So if you think you're tough enough and you'll be able to push it to the absolute max, you can start off with joining me with the warm up. So to make sure that our muscles are ready for our hardcore exercises, we're going to do a two minute warm up. Okay, so let's just start by jogging on the spot. We're going to increase it by getting our knees higher. So really punch it from the side, side. The higher I'm going to get my knees, the more cardio work I'm going to get. So let's turn to the front. Let's turn to the other side. Okay, now let's kick those butts. You can see from the side. I don't want to hit myself too hard. But I want to make sure that I'm really getting all that blood pumping around to my, all my muscles and get myself going. Okay, let's do some star jumps. Keep breathing. We want to make sure that all our muscles are nicely warmed up before we do any exercises so we don't damage anything. Okay, let's take it back to jogging on the spot. If you need to get water at any time, remember, just press pause, take a little sip and come back in. Okay, now we're just going to stretch it out. We're going to start off stretching out our glutes. So just put one leg across the other and just bend it down. It's going to really help all down here. The lower you can go, you're going to feel even more of a stretch. Okay, let's turn it over to the other leg. That's good. And we'll really feel it underneath here. Remember, you can hold on to something if you're struggling with your balance, but holding in that stomach's really going to help. Okay, let's shake those legs out and let's do our calves. So one leg in front of the other, just bending down. If you need more of a stretch, you just need to pull up the toe. If you can't hold on, here is absolutely fine. We're going to hold each stretch for probably about another 10, 15, 10, 15 seconds. Just do the other leg. Lift it up, if you need more of a stretch, then relax. So because we're going to be doing a military exercises, we're going to really push our body to the max. So if you do need to take a break, just put it on pause and come straight back to us. We're going to begin with squats. So really going to be using these quad muscles and our glutes. Now for these, these squats, we're going to put our legs nice and wide. We want to make sure that our feet are facing the same way. And we're just going to bend as low as we can and sticking our bottom out. So we're just gonna nice and wide and just back. Almost like you're sitting down on a chair and you wanna get really nice and low. Okay, so we're gonna do pyramid squats. So let's start with me and we're gonna do 10 seconds up and down and begin. Really squeezing those glutes as you get up. We're gonna do this quite quickly. Okay, this is just a nice easy way to relax into it. One more and relax. Okay, literally five second break. And let's go into 20 seconds. Let's show you from the side. Let's do 20 seconds. Let's go really nice and low, squeezing those glutes as we get to the top. If you think you're tough enough, you're gonna get all the way through to the end. So let's see if you can do it. 10 seconds left of this 20 seconds. That's it, really push down and squeeze to the top. Five seconds. And give me one more. Okay, quick break. And then we're going 30 seconds. Okay, you should be really starting to feel those now. And let's go back down again for 30 seconds. Really nice and low. Squeezing those abs and those glutes as we come up to the top. We already think about sticking that bum out like we're just sitting on a chair. Just think how good you're gonna feel tomorrow once you've got through these whole pyramid squats. It's a really easy thing you can just do at home. You don't need any equipment. Just yourselves, okay? And release. Okay, last bit, 40 seconds. You can really do it, guys. Push through. We're doing the military workout. You've got to really work hard. Okay, nice and wide again. And let's take it for 40 seconds. Squeeze those abs in as we get up and those glutes. You're going to feel it tomorrow. You have to envision what you want the body to look like. If you want those pert little bottoms, you're gonna have to do lots of squats and if you stay with me I'm gonna motivate you and you're gonna get that body that you want 
Okay, really push it down, guys. Keep going. Keep breathing too. It's really important. Squeeze it as you get in. Just 10 seconds left of these pyramid squats. Remember, if you're feeling like it, you can just keep going. And you can bring it all the way back down doing 30, 20, and 10. Let's do one more. Well done. And let's just relax. Okay, now we're gonna do some really hardcore plyometrics. We're gonna do, it's like a star jump, but I'm gonna call it a superstar jump. So we're gonna, instead of just star jumps here, we're gonna jump in the air. So you're gonna try and get as much elevation as you can. And we're gonna do two sets of 15 seconds. Okay, let's start, 15 seconds, let's go. I want you to bend your knees as you get back to the ground. It's gonna give you more elevation to jump. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going, keep breathing. Jump as high as you can. Give me one more. Okay, that's good. Now you should really be feeling it in those quads now. Because from our squat into those jumping superstars, it's gonna really strengthen. Okay, let's do one more set, 15 seconds. Okay, let's go, stay with me. Remember, if it is too hard, you can just do star jumps. Like this. Or if you want to take it down one notch, step it out to the side. But as long as you keep moving, that's the main thing. Okay, well done guys. Just take a breather, take on some water if you need it. We're going to go back down on the floor to do some mountain climbers. We're going to be using our abs, our shoulders, all down our bicep muscles. It's a really good overall workout. So, hands flat on the floor. We want to make sure that our arms are directly underneath our shoulders. Up in like the push-up position, I'm just gonna swing our legs to either side. Okay, we're gonna do two sets of 30 seconds. Let's just show you from here. So put it up, and let's take it for 30 seconds. Really pushing our knee to the opposite side. We wanna make sure that our arms are directly underneath our shoulders and our back is nice and straight. Keep going, guys. It's all gonna be worth it in the end, I promise you. Keep pushing it, you've got less than 10 seconds. And keep that breathing, because when you're on the floor and you come up, you tend to get a bit dizzy. Let's relax. Let's go back into a cat stretch. Just hold this here for a moment. Let's catch our breath. We're gonna go back into another set of 30 seconds. Okay, same again. Hands under our shoulders. And let's go for 30 seconds. Now, if you wanna increase it, you can jump it. That's gonna increase the intensity and make it harder. But if you can't do that, that's fine. Just bring your legs across, making sure that we're holding our belly button up into our spine to help our abs get really, really strong. Okay, you've got less than 10 seconds. You can do it, guys. You can do it, you're almost there. And give me one more. And relax, and go back down into a cat stretch. Whew. It's definitely working, guys, I can feel it. You can feel it too, I'm sure. Okay, next exercise. Okay, so let's stay on the floor, and we're gonna start working our abdominals. So you just wanna lie back, Remember, always having our back flat on the floor. We don't want to arch. We're going to do a crunch, and then we're going to swing it all the way up. Okay, so they're swing sit-ups. So we go back down, we pull it up, and we use our legs to pull us back up again. So it's like a big swinging pendulum motion. Okay, so we're going to do it for 30 seconds. And if you're tough enough, you're going to be able to put it through the whole 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. So we're going to just put it up, to the ceiling and back down. Swing it up and all the way up again. Really making sure that our back is staying flat and we're just rolling down our spine. Pulling it back, swing it nice and high and bring it up. Now you're gonna find it harder as you get along. Each time you do it, it's gonna be even more intense. You've got 10 seconds, swing it up. Pull it up to the ceiling, back down. Hold it up and back down again. Whew and relax. Okay, let's just stretch out the stomach. That's pretty intense, that one, guys. If you do think you can keep going with it, you can just rewind that section and do it all over again. 
see how many times you can do it and let me know. I like to know the person who's done the most. It's pretty intense. Okay, staying again on the floor, we're gonna do push-ups. Now we're gonna be using our bicep muscles, our shoulders, and then we're gonna switch it up and using our triceps. So, we're starting out like this. We're gonna do 10 seconds out here, then we're gonna bring it in and doing this. So we're gonna be using our triceps in the second part. So let's show you from the side. We wanna push up like this, so our arms are really nice and wide, making sure that we're using those shoulders and just the second 10 seconds, we're going to be using a dip here. Okay, so we're going to do 10 seconds out, 10 in, out, and in again. Okay, so let's push it, guys. This is the military workout. It's going to be really intense. So let's start with 10 seconds to the side. Really keeping that back nice and flat. If you can't go all the way down, that's fine. Just make sure that the techniques is correct, and that's going to improve your shoulders. And that's great, let's bring it in. We're gonna do it here for 10 seconds. I'm just gonna show you with your knees on the ground. You wanna make sure that you're using your body weight to strengthen those muscles. Five seconds left. Okay, you're halfway through this exercise. Let's bring it back out again and let's go down, keeping that back nice and straight. Don't rush it, just do it in your own time. Okay, one more. Let's bring it in together. Back into our triceps. Just gonna dip it down. Make sure we're holding that belly up to the ceiling under our spine. Keep breathing. I know you can do it, guys. It's pretty intense, but you're almost there. Give me one more and relax. Let's just rotate those shoulders round and round because you're gonna really feel it all down these muscles here. Okay, staying with our arms, we're gonna do plank push-ups. Now it seems a little bit intense, and well, you've guessed it, we're doing a military workout, so it's gonna be. So, the plank position. It's like just pulling your body nice and straight and flat, okay? So we wanna make sure that when we're here, we're in a nice straight line. We don't wanna dip, we don't wanna stick our bottom in the air, we just wanna be nice and flat. So, this is the plank position. And then we're gonna put it into the push-up position. So like so. So bring it down and bring it up. Just like that. Okay, so we're gonna do one set of 30 seconds. We're gonna do as much as you can. If you need to have a break, just rest your knees down and you can do it like so. Remember, we really want to make sure that our hips don't rotate. So try and keep them as still as possible. Okay, so let's do 30 seconds. Are you ready? Let's go. Bring it up and bring it down. Bring it up and down. Remember, if you want to make it more difficult, you bring it up here, you bring it down, and then you go up again. If you're really struggling, you can just hold it in the plank position and make sure that your technique is correct. Really squeeze those abs nice and tight. So you can just do it this way. Or make it harder and go all the way up. Okay, three seconds, guys. You're almost there. And relax. Let's just give me a cat stretch and just take a moment to breathe. If you need to, stretch out those arms. This one's a really great one for stretching out your bicep muscles. And also, this one here for your triceps. Okay, we're gonna do one more exercise to finish this off. And this is really gonna be the hardcore one. This is what the military people do, and this is what we're gonna do. Burpees. It's not everybody's favorite, but we're gonna finish up with it. So all we're gonna do is two sets of 20 seconds. So we're just gonna push through and get to the end. And it's so gonna be worth it by the time you finish. Just think of how successful your body's gonna look. Okay, do a burpee. Jump to the ceiling, jump out and back. Okay, that easy. If you wanna make it more simple, take out the jump, when you go down, just step it backwards, making sure that we're keeping that body nice and straight. Okay, so let's start with the first 20 seconds. Ready guys? Let's go. Jump up, bring it down like this if you're struggling. You don't have to jump. If you want to, jump nice and high, jump back. Keeping that butt really nice and straight. Jump up, touch the ceiling. 10 seconds left for this one, you're halfway through. 
Jump up really nice and high. You can do it, guys. You're so nearly there. We're going to join in the military. One more. And bring it in. Okay. 20 seconds left of this whole episode. So let's really push it hard. Let's make sure that we finish on a high. Okay. You're going to thank me afterwards, I promise. Okay, let's go. Last 20 seconds. Let's jump all of them. Let's go. Nice and high. Bring it back. Keep breathing, guys. That's really important. You can have a nice long hot bath after you've worked out. You deserve it. Five seconds left. Anyone? Give me one more. Jump. Oh, well done, guys. Now, I put you through your paces. If you think you can do it all over again, you can hit the button below and it's gonna take you back to the beginning of the workout. You've done a really tough workout today, guys. Well done. Remember, if you do want even more fun and exciting episodes, we're here on X Hit five days a week. My name's Rebecca Louise. You can leave me any sort of comments. I'm gonna get back to you, help you with your exercise routines, any queries you have. Tell all your friends, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.